5.7, curve fitting with quadratic models. So we're going to find a quadratic function whose graph contains the point 1, 3, 2, negative 3, and 6, 13. I want you to write this down and then just make a basic graph in your notes and plot those three points. All right, you should be done with the three points graphing them. The first one, how do I graph it? To the right one, up three is my first point. My second one, I go to the right two, down three. And the last one, over six. So 13 is actually off my graph. You graph, your three points look like this. What do all quadratics look like? A U shape. They're all parabolas. Is there any way you're going to draw a perfect graph here and then tell me what the equation is that passes through them? No, it's hard to do it by hand. So what I want you to do is get out your calculators. To do this section, you will have to have one of these calculators. You either should have purchased one of these calculators by now at home or have downloaded the emulator to use on your computer. I need to put this information in my calculator. How do I put these points in the calculator? Uh, y equals only works for writing in equations. I don't have equations. Anyone remember? Nope. Okay, we have to put our values into L1 and L2. So how can I put them in L1 and L2? Second stat plot is not it. We have done this earlier this year. I press stat. I press stat and I press enter. You need to know how to get into L1 and L2. There might be stuff in there, but it's not correct stuff. I put in the values. L1 are my X's. L2 are my Y's. What are my X values? 1, enter, 2, enter, 6, enter. So I put 1, 2, and 6 in my L1. In L2, I put my Y values. 3, negative 3, 13. you got to make sure you press Enter after each time, and you have to make sure you use the negative sign, not the minus. So we put them in there. Now, if I wanted to graph these, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you. There's the two points, the third point's from way up here off my screen. It plotted the points. There's a way to get the equation, though. Press stat. Go over to calc. Earlier in the year, we used linear regression. Now we're using quadratic regression. So, five. Now, most of our stuff is in L1 and L2 already. You don't have to do this as if this is in L1 and L2. The calculator default is L1, L2. If I had my stuff in 3 and 4, I'd have to tell the calculator. Second, 1, comma, second, 2. I don't have to do this, though. This stuff doesn't have to be there. Enter. It gives me an equation. What's my equation? Y equals... No, that is not the equation. Y equals... 
2 x squared minus 12 x plus 13. That is the equation that passes through those two points. If I go into y equals <coughs> and I type 2 x squared minus 12 x plus 13 and I graph it. This is just showing you. You don't have to do this. There's my points and it passes through there. If I zoom out so you can see everything, it hits one, two, all three points. You would have never have drawn this U perfectly through all three. You would have never got this equation just by that. The only way to do this right now is with the calculator. The next one we're going to work with is we're going to find a quadratic function for this. So draw these piles of cannonballs. I have four piles. That's my first, second, third, fourth. How many dots or cannonballs are in my first pile? One. How about the second one? Three. The next ones? Six. And the last ones? Ten. We could keep going and figure out the pattern. I want you to put this in the calculator to find out what it's going to be. What do I hit first? Stab. Enter. All right. Which one are going to go into my L1? Which ones are going to go into my L2? They all do not go into L1. One, two, three, four goes into my L1. So one, oops, one, two, three, four goes into my L1. One, the other one goes into L2. One, three, six, ten. How do I get the equation? How do I get to the equation? Stat. Count. Five. Enter. What's my equation? Do I have to put the plus zero? No. Any questions on this? If, if I put this in the calculator just to see what it looks like graphed, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you. 0.5x squared plus 0.5x. I graph. There's my points. And the quadratic regression goes through it. You would have never had anything close to the full circle there or the full problem. Any questions?